let me just lay this down for people because I think I, I saw this online. I think people need to understand this about Ridley really Scott and so forth because a lot of Marvel fans, MCU fans took it as an insult that um, Ridley really Scott called, you know, basically insulted Marvel films and Marvel movies and was similar with Scorsese. This is what people need to understand and this is the truth. You don't need to take it personal. The truth is the truth. You don't need to take it personal. MCU movies, spared by Ken Feige and Disney, they're not made to be good films. They're not made to be high pieces of cinema. They are purely there to entertain. And Feige, he knows this. He knows that we're here to entertain. Do you know those bombers Transformers movies, those trash Transformers movies? Do you know them? they made nearly a billion? They made a lot in the, in, in the, in the cinema. Those films are some of the worst films ever made. I'm going to talk about Venom on, on a different video, but bro, look at how well the two Venom films have done. Venom is a piece of... That film is a piece of utter garbage. And that is my favorite villain. Venom is my favorite villain. That's why I've not... I, I've, I've not yet talked about Venom because it's so hostile with all, all, all the dumb scene that I want to just separate that for another time, but that piece of garbage crap has been successful. So, you have, and this is what you guys have to understand. Really, Scott made the alien. He created... So he, he redefined the horror genre. He directed Gladiator. Probably the best film made of that era. Yes, it's better than Ben Hur. He made Blade Runner. Runner. Probably the most influential sci-fi film of all time. So these are three classic cinematic films. So when someone like that makes three classical pieces of cinema, three of the one of the most historic films of all time, and he looks at Infinity War, or he looks at Iron Man, for him, it's it's it'll, it'll be garbage. So you have to look at someone's point of view and their perspective. People are just like, oh no, he's just crapping on these films. You have to keep in mind of that. Infinity War compared to a raging bull. Iron Man compared to um freaking alien. Their worlds are parts. Cinematically, their worlds are parts. Because this is what people have to understand. You can enjoy a film. That's fundamentally, it's crap. <laughs> but you can still enjoy it for what it is. This is a film called um, American Ninja 2. I love the film. It's super entertaining. But I know it's, it's a crap film. But I'm entertained by it. Great example, Commando. And on short, another movie, Commando. Commando is a, it's, it's, it's not a, it's, it's, it's a bad film. It's a bad film that tries to be an action film, but, but really, it's a comedy. It's a bad film. But I really love that film. But I know it's a bad film, but I still enjoy it. So, you have to understand that all these Marvel, they're not good films. They're entertaining. See, they are well-made pieces of entertainment. Hence why, as Scorsese said, oh no, it's like a roller coaster ride. It's not film. It's not cinema. There's, there's no high piece of technicality towards it. Like, the only Marvel films that try to be towards, okay, this is now going towards a quality film, is I can think of uh, um, Captain America 1, Winter Soldier, Black Panther, and that's about it. Like everything else is like, okay, this is comic book movie. Like I already said, like Infinity War, <laughs> it's just a dude getting stones. Like Endgame, the final fight of, of Endgame was a, was a freaking joke. It was, it, was, it was like a CGI mishmash. So just, I know you want to say, or oh, it's got you're just an old guy, blah, blah, but and I'll, I'll end with this because I wanted to do an interview with this, but I didn't have time. I end with this. Ridley Scott, he made Last Duel. Which came out this this year. Last duo, forget about House of Gucci. Last duo is probably the best film to come out this year. I will be hard pressed to think that there is a film that is better directed, better made than Last Duo.